Welcome everybody. Generally there is three way for making waveguide and exciting electromagnetic component in the CST microwave studio by waveguide which I'm gonna tell you. Number one is that you go to the simulation and by telling waveguide you can create waveguide with a discrete port but um, exactly means that you're using the waveguide port section in the software first one is that you go to the waveguide section port and then by choosing free you can create a waveguide in any position that you want for example I here I choose minus 10 to plus 10 from uh, minus 1.5 and up to 20 you can change it you can create 10 but the thing is, is that for example for um, making a waveguide port for microSTR blind you have to use the formula that is exists both for CSC and HFSS or you can choose the formula based on your research that you have also in this method you you are free that you use it for any kind of for example lines I don't know couplanar waveguide or micro strip or any of them the good thing about this method is that if you are going to design a horn antenna for example here we can see one horn antenna you can use it for input port and the size of the waveguide port is equal to the size of the designed waveguide that you have for example here I bring you this sample number two the second one is that you can you can use the existing waveguide there's a some standard kind of waveguide which is available for example for the rectangular waveguide I just bring you a sample we have WR1500 WG2 and the recommended frequency range for the application of this waveguide is available you have the cutoff frequency and also cutoff frequency of the next mode and also there is a interdimension of this waveguide and also if you go to some company uh, website because it's a commercial device you can find even the outside and size of the waveguide and also the material that they can use it for example you can apply to your simulation this case is very useful if you have uh, if you really want to fabricate it and use this kind of waveguide for example in the lab it uh, makes your simulation much more closer to your result that you are going to get from the lab report and finally number three number three is that in the CSC microwave studio you can I'm just going to delete this port which is the sample just of course you know that we are not gonna make waveguide with this size you just select the micro strip line this method is uh, very useful for especially for the micro strip line you go to the solver and you go to the port and you go to the calculation port extension coefficients you can see here it shows you the CSC start to calculate it for you automatically based on the substrate that you have it also shows my substrate permittivity and also my substrate thickness it understand it shows in the picture that when you select select the micro strip line it also start to create a waveguide automatically based on this formula and also it is available for the strip line okay for the strip line it used this kind of formula and in the newest version the CSTs want to apply for couplanar waveguide and also couplanar waveguide with ground but right now it's this one and when you just select the calculation start to calculate it for you
when you choose the construction from picket face this is start to construct it for you for example here this one automatically for you but sometimes based on your frequency range and you get some errors from the software but general speaking if you want to design especially for micro s3 antenna it's the best method that based on my experience it works very well especially it's very compatible with the software because it's a recommendation of the software for the user waveguide but in the lab if you have special devices and for example you want to excite the antenna with a special waveguide it's the best way that you use the second method which is that you design the waveguide actually but of course the third method doesn't work for the for example waveguide antenna if you have for example something that i show you like this but it's a very easy one you know that you escape from the calculation and if someone you know that want to know about the size of the waveguide that you are going to design generally when you say that i use the recommendation of the csd they're going to accept it isn't the professor or the lab supervisor and the result is very accurate and that's one is very good for getting very simple size of them because size of the waveguide port it is very important it can change your final result also for the sound frequency software stop simulating or shows you error that the working sim working frequency for example is below the cutoff frequency of the waveguide or it is higher than the waveguide for example it start to create a second mode in the waveguide sometimes you can see this kind of error for in from the software and it is important that you design a waveguide that is appropriate with your simulation and your design and that's it these are the three main methods that generally i use it for exciting the electromagnetic component in the csd thanks for watching